and welcome to my channel Les from Fat to Thin My Keto Journey and today's video is going to be a weight loss motivation video for those people who have just tuned into my channel and are watching my journey from 118 kilos and I'm down now to 96 kilos and as you can see by these pictures here I was a chunky chunky man and now I hit that trigger point and now I'm on my way down from fat to slim during the keto now this video isn't about my diet, it's about sometimes people need a bit of motivation and they'll start on their journey for weight loss. So my story is about when I was a firefighter. I was a fireman for 30 years and this is a story about how the fire brigade deal with large obese people. And this story is a, is a sad story that I'm going to tell and the fact that as a firefighter we, we dealt with more and more heavy, overweight, obese people and this is a story that I want to share with everybody as to don't let yourself get into this situation don't let this happen to you because it's so easy to do again this photograph is me as 118 kilos I slowly put it on over the years and for those people who start putting the weight on slowly it gathers momentum and it gathers pace and it moves on very very quickly and it's very difficult to get it off so this story is about one of the rescues that we did as a fire brigade many years ago and it's a sad story because this young gentleman was in his 40s and he'd never been out of his bedroom for seven years so don't let this become your prison cell don't let this happen to you don't be in a rush to meet the grim reaper because being obesely overweight is no good for anybody. It's not good for you, it's not good for your family, it's not good for, for you. At 40 years old, imagine being stuck in your bedroom for seven years. So this story was about this gentleman. He'd become ill and therefore he needed hospital treatment. So because he was in a, a bedroom on the first floor of his house and he'd never been out of the bedroom for seven years, this gentleman weighed approximately 38 stone. So therefore the ambulance service couldn't get this guy out of the property because two ambulance people, he lived on the first floor. So the fire brigade was called because we have specialist equipment to be able to, to do such things. So we were called to help the ambulance service bring this gentleman to the hospital. And I've got to say the whole exercise from start to finish took four and a half hours four and a half hours of thinking of a way how we can get this gentleman safely from the bedroom into the ambulance and to the hospital out with the ambulance into the hospital ward four and a half hours from the minute we got there to the minute we dropped him off at the hospital it was horrendous it really really was the guy filled the bed it was a big double bed king size bed that he was laid on and he filled the bed and the whole of his body was just just enormous and he had skinny arms and skinny legs so we couldn't lift him by his arms and his legs because of the, the sheer weight of his body was going to hurt his arms and his legs so because we were getting called more and more often to these events where large people needed to be moved and the ambulance service couldn't do it on their own we'd adopted procedures and ways and means of being able to do this and the station that I was at was a was a rope rescue station so we carried ropes slings and stretchers and we were dealing with all sorts of things and to put it politely at this stage because we hadn't further developed our heavy lifting equipment with regard to humans we were using straps that we would rescue cattle stuck in mud or horses stuck in muddy fields so it was undignifiably audible for these people to be putting such slings and contraptions to be able to lift heavy animals out as it was and we just further developed our our equipment over the years to deal with such people because we got called to many many more following this as we were requested more and more to deal with such people now the problem that we had was getting out of the bed down the flight of stairs through a door along the garden pathway into an ambulance that was adapted for overweight people this guy was 38 stones so 
we had to we had to package them up and we had a, a tarpaulin basically a tarpaulin that covers a, a lorry and we wrapped them up in this and then we sort of wrapped him up in rope to stop him from actually scrubbing his skin along the floor and we moved him gently and we had a pulley system so when he was lowered down the stairs he didn't go down very fast we had full control of this gentleman from the minute he got out of bed until the minute we got him into the ambulance now you can imagine there was 25 firefighters involved with this exercise getting him out of the bedroom getting him down the stairs we had to cut the banister rails beautiful banister rails we had to cut them all off because he was too wide to go down the stairs he was going to catch himself on the balustrades going down so the work that had to go on to cut the balustrades so we could lower him down the stairs was again just a time consuming operation it involved 25 firefighters and you can imagine the whole street was out with their cameras so the embarrassment that this gentleman felt because he was going through all of this he was in tears we were emotional as well because we were dealing with a person like this and he, he was so sorry of all of the disruption that he's caused everybody and then we got him in we eventually got him into the ambulance and transported to the hospital and then we helped to transport him from the ambulance into a hospital bed so from minute to minute four and a half hours in total total embarrassment for this guy he was in tears and he said and his last words said to me i'm going to walk out this hospital i'm never ever going to be trapped in my bedroom again for seven years i'm going to walk out of this hospital so hopefully those people that have watched this video get a little bit of inspiration about don't let overweight creep onto you it does creep onto you every day every day you can put a kilo on or two kilos on and once it gets to that point of no return it's a lot more difficult don't be stuck in this bedroom for seven years there's a whole world out there you can do it i've gone from 118 kilos down to 96 kilos on the keto diet if the keto diet isn't for you any diet just to lose the weight do it make this day count my trigger point was when i got to this 118 kilos i went and bought two pairs of shorts at 44 inch waists that was my trigger point to thinking i need to do something about this and now i'm down to a 38 inch waist weighing 96 kilos and i'm going to go down to 90 kilos that's my goal weight so from now look at this video here this is a water container of 20 kilos 20 liters of water weighs 20 kilos this is how much weight i have lost since i started the keto diet any diet isn't easy you just need the will and the motivation i hope this video has inspired some people and it's given the motivation to start I'm contactable here all the time. I'm a fat man going slim. If you want any advice or any talks, I'll talk to you. I'll, I'll tell you what, what I've done and how I've done it. Send me an email here. I'll answer every single email that I get with regard to your weight loss and how I did it and how I'm going, how I felt about it. I slipped off the wagon. Yeah, I slipped off the wagon for three weeks because I went on a holiday. But I'm back on the wagon now. So look at me for inspiration if i can do it anybody can do it don't let this bedroom become your last place that you'll ever see before you leave this earth don't be in a rush to meet this person the grim reaper so from les from fat to slim until the next video bye for now